follow VHS. <sighs> Great format, huh? I guess you just gotta let some of your old favorites go sometimes. <sighs> Such a shame. Anyway, how you been? Welcome back to another season of Mung on the Arts. I just got back from a wonderful vacation in Key West, Florida. You know, they have a bar there where you don't even have to wear pants. I fit in wonderfully. Ah, but back to work, my friends. And yes, this week I'd like to kick off with a new film called The Beaver. And no, it is not a film about a lady that refused to wear pants in Key West. It is the new film starring Mel Gibson. Yes, everyone's favorite former Aussie psychopath is back. And this is quite a film. The premise is this. Walter, a man that seems to have it all, a great job, a loving family, and Mel Gibson's stunning looks, seems to have quit quite a little bit of a rut, if you will, lately. No real reason is given, but it is very clear that depression runs deep in his family. So, the film wastes no time jumping into the downfall of Walt. His wife is played by Jodie Foster, who also directs the film, and she throws him out. So, while stocking up on liquor, naturally, Walter finds a puppet in the dumpster, a beaver puppet. And it is quite a puppet indeed. What do you know about puppets that make an extension from yourself? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it saves his life is what it does. The only catch is he can only communicate with his family and co-workers now through the puppet. All of this is meant to come off as totally insane. But, personally, I don't see a single thing that is crazy about a puppet helping a friend out. Walter is a man who's lost all hope. But he's about to find his voice. Bloody hell. Look at you. I'm sick. Do you want to get better? Who are you? No, I'm the beaver, Walter. And I'm here to save your damn life. <laughs> the person who handed you this card is under the care of a prescription puppet designed to help create a psychological distance between them. He's very patient. But I want you, not him. This man is a dead end. He's gone. the film falls into the cursed category of probably a better idea than a movie. With Mel Gibson's drunken Jew bashing arrest and publicly witnessed crazy as hell scream sessions towards his ex-wife, it makes it really hard to care about this character when he's meant to just be a fella down on his luck. The comedic moments are somewhat there, but it's not really a comedy. And the sweetness of the film gets dabbled in, but it's not that sweet. The true fault of the film is that it could be much darker, or at least artsier, but it sadly chooses to be neither. There are far too many shots of both Walter and the Beaver talking at the same time, and we all know that just makes the puppet and the master look like idiots. Right? Mm-hmm. So, personally, I think the film would have worked better if Foster had gotten a bit more adventurous with her directing. Made it a bit more like the Muppet movie meets Donnie Darko. Ah, or even ended up having Bill Murray or someone in the lead. Probably would have made it more solid. But hats off to Mel for trying something truly a bit more in the focus of his suffering career and obvious mental insanity. A true road warrior. So, I give the film two out of five shakes. You kind of root for the beaver more than you do Mel Gibson, if you think about it. But it's okay, Mel. A lot of people get upstaged by puppets. Now, if you don't mind, I would love to reenact my favorite scene from the beaver. Oi. Oi, wake up. Oi. Get out of bed, you wanker. Look at you, you big mess. Oh, who are you? I'm the beaver. I'm the beaver that's gonna save your life, mate. You big, drunk, racist creep. 
Wow, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? Well, you know, your family hates you. I hate you, but I'm gonna save your life. You're gonna do it, or you're gonna lie here and be a big wanker. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> but it's our 20th anniversary, Walter, and I wanna spend it with you, not that shitty old groundhog. I fought for you for 20 years, and I'm gonna keep fighting. Real good this time, you wanker. Look at you, drunk again, and everyone's left. You know what? You're starting to get really annoying. Oh, yeah, mate? What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut you off. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> well, back to fixing this old VHS, I guess. I think I almost got it. And have a good one, and remember, don't be a racist.